Have you seen this clip on social media recently? It's a TV news report from the 1980s showing how people in California at the time reacted to new laws against drunk driving. Still, any attempt to restrict drinking and driving here is viewed by some as downright undemocratic. It's kind of getting common this when a fella can't put in a hard day's work, put in 11, 12 hours a day, and then get in your truck and at least drink one or two beers. They're making it laws where you can't drink when you want to. You, can't, you have to wear a seat belt when you're driving. And pretty soon we're going to become this country. The clip was posted by popular TikTok account Cali Nostalgia, and so far it has more than 3 million views. So what's actually going on here? California has had DUI laws on its books since at least 1911, but in the decades following, drunk driving laws weren't enforced at the level we see today. By the early 80s, intoxicated driving had become something of an epidemic, with more than 250,000 drunk driving deaths occurring between 1973 and 1983. By one 1985 estimate, the issue was responsible for approximately 21 billion in property damage, which is roughly 60 billion by 2023 standards. Drunk driving was apparently so bad at this time that entire organizations were created solely to fight, such as Mothers Against Drunk Driving, aka MAD, which was formed in 1980. Those groups placed enormous pressure on lawmakers to crack down on drunk driving, and it worked. The people in this viral video are reacting to a new California law that lowered the legal blood alcohol limit from 0.15 to 0.10. Now, the federal limit is even lower, 0.08. Despite the anger from these Californians, there's no denying that these types of motor safety laws work. In 1980, there were roughly 51,000 deaths involving fatal car crashes in the U.S. In 2020, that number was reduced to approximately 38,000, even though the United States population actually grew by 100 million in those 40 years. Perhaps there's a lesson here for the people who are easily upset by the safety considerations of today. As you've probably read by now, the Consumer Product Safety Commission has suggested the government will soon ban gas stoves. But apparently, and nobody knew this until like a week ago, these stoves are a hidden hazard that we must eliminate. They want your gas stove, and we're not going to let that happen. i tell you one thing, they're not taking my gas stove out, and my wife and I would both be upset.